Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. I have a small problem today, but I already have a solution to it. It is 1.30 in the afternoon and I wanna do a crock pot, slow cooker, Tuscan garlic chicken recipe. The good news though, is that we can still accomplish this. This is one of those recipes where you don't need all day long. You don't need eight to 10 hours. Let's get started. This recipe, Tuscan garlic chicken, uses chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. You could skip this step, but I salt and peppered the chicken thighs, and I'm just going to give them a quick sear on each side before I throw them into the crock pot. Before I make the sauce that goes over this in the crock pot, I'm going to add our next ingredient that we need, which is sun-dried tomatoes. You know what? I am going to chop these up first. They're in big pieces. So let's get these chopped up. And I have just the tool for the job. Okay, let's whip up our quick sauce. It's kind of like an Alfredo that we are going to pour over the chicken and let the crock pot do its work for us. I did get out most of the oil that was in the pan. I took uh, my tongs and paper towel and just blotted the oil out. I am going to add a little bit of butter right now. About six cloves of garlic. I cut them pretty coarsely so they don't burn. A cup of heavy cream. And a third cup of chicken broth. And we are just going to bring this to a simmer. We are also going to be adding Swiss chard towards the end of the slow cooker cooking process. You could also use spinach if you don't want to use Swiss chard. I just have Swiss chard from my garden that I preserved up earlier in the season and I stuck it in my freezer for recipes like this. So that's why I'm using Swiss chard and I just really like it, but you could use whatever kind of green you like. I think a whole bunch of fresh basil would be good too. I still don't have a silicone whisk, so I'm using this. Okay, now I'm going to turn the heat way back and add in Parmesan cheese. You need about three quarters of a cup. And just melt that in a little bit at a time. If it gets too thick, you can always thin it out with chicken broth or some half and half or heavy cream. Or if you want it thicker, add more cheese. I'm just going to add a little pepper. Okay, this is thickening up nicely, so I am going to cut the heat. And we are ready to get the slow cooker going. I'm going to cook this on high for a few hours and come back and we will add in the Swiss chard and then later give it a taste test. See you in a little bit. 
Okay, it has been a few hours. I've turned the slow cooker down to low. And I just want to add in the Swiss chard. So here is my bag of Swiss chard out of the freezer. I'm just breaking it up a little bit. I'm just going to put the lid back on and let this cook for just a little bit longer. And while I do that, I am going to cook up some sweet potatoes. Just super simple. I'm going to peel these, cut them up, get them boiled down, and add butter and salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of brown sugar. And that is going to be our dinner for tonight. This is going to take a minute because it is really, really hot. The chicken is just fall off the bone tender. Okay, I'm going for it. Mmm. Wow. That has just a really nice depth of flavor. I can taste the sun-dried tomatoes and the garlic and just the seasoning. It's really excellent. Let's try another bite and get some sweet potato in there too. I think the sweet potato with the butter and brown sugar was just a perfect accompaniment to this. And to have a little something sweet with this really savory dish is a perfect combination. Let's see what we think. Mm. Whoa. My family is going to love this. I will definitely make this again. This is phenomenal. It's easy. There's not many ingredients and yet it is so, so good. I like this because I didn't get it started until well after two o'clock this afternoon, probably closer to three. And it doesn't need to cook that long, like a typical slow cooker recipe. I love that aspect of it. In addition to these flavors are just wonderful. This is a great fall cozy meal too. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.